As I was driving here about an hour or so ago, I actually haven't been to any other masjid in the Bay Area this Ramadan except SBIA, my own masjid. I've done a little bit of traveling and maybe a few fundraisers here and there. I chose for this Ramadan to be a fairly focused Ramadan for myself just so that I could spend some time with the Qur'an really and just focus on my ibadah. Um, the year is very, very busy and there's a lot that's going on despite that I've been to the East Coast twice in the last six days. I flew, came back, flew and came back. The reason I share all of this is because as I was, as I took, as I was taking the exit and as I was driving down I was reminded that it wasn't too long ago that I did a fundraiser for MCC in Ramadan while I was in an empty room and a computer in front of me. Right? You remember that. COVID. Where all of us were glued to our screens. Uh, and I, I recall, I actually vividly recall just sitting there, you know, an empty room, computer, a camera in front of me and trying to raise funds and we were successful, alhamdulillah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us a very, very long way since then. And one thing that I have been talking to a lot of people about, there's one massive problem that every masjid in America has had this year. And that is space issues. Every single masjid is full. No matter whether you talk to people who are praying in a community center, people praying inside a musalla, people praying inside a large masjid, wherever it may be, the masjids are packed. And it almost seems like there's new faces. Like I look around the room and there's so many people, I just don't know. And a few years ago, that was not the case. It was almost like we knew most people that we, came, when we came to the masjid, if, we, if I wouldn't know you by name, I at least knew you by face. Like, yeah, that's a familiar face. It's almost like the entire, and as I came home today, earlier today, I was just talking to my brother. He goes, how was Jummah? And I said, it was packed. He said the exact same thing for me. In other words, brothers and sisters, the reason I share all of this is because the masjids are full. The masjids are being utilized to their maximum capacity, potentially even beyond their maximum capacity, right? Parking, water bill, gas bill, it's just packed. One, and the, the people are coming. And that's a sign that everyone loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone wants to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for us to be amongst those individuals. Okay, we, we all have a place to pray. We're not praying outside. Right? We're, being, we're all fed. I'm sure everyone here, you're full. Alhamdulillah. Maybe it was Friday, you ate a little more than you should have. And if you ate less, it was out of choice, not because you didn't have food. Right? You, we, we didn't make iftar with grass today as people in Gaza are reported to have been making. We have a lot to be grateful for. We have a lot to be grateful for. And I say this, and I say this again, that everything in our orbit is a part of our nasib, right? Generally, when we think nasib, rizq, we usually think of money. We usually think young people, when they hear the word nasib, they're thinking of spouse, marriage, yeah, nasib.com. Uh, but in any case, young people, when we hear the word nasib, we have all these things that we think of. But in reality, our family is our nasib. Our community is our nasib, is our risk, right? Our, mas our local masjid is a part of our risk, is a part of the sustenance that Allah has given to us. For us to be able to, be, to, be able to pray behind an individual who recites the Qur'an so beautifully, we know if we go to the MCC for Salatul Taraweeh, we are going to get a class Taraweeh inshaAllah. Right? We're not going to have any issues with our Taraweeh inshaAllah. We're going to go for prayers, we're going to get a good khatib. This is all part of our nasib. This is all part of our nasib. And before I begin asking for funds, brothers and sisters, I just want you to close your eyes for a few seconds and to be able to say, Alhamdulillah. Ya Allah, I am grateful to you 
for these amazing blessings that you have given to me in order for me to remain a good practicing Muslim for some of us in a land far away from home where we couldn't have even imagined this some years ago. And Ya Allah, we're grateful to you for this and we ask you that this remain a blessing for us for as long as we live. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, it goes without saying, none of these things happen for free. Right? All, of, all these lights that are turned on, these TVs that happen to be there, the hot water that we use, the water that we flush, the parking lot that gets paved, all this costs a lot of money. Right? And this is not back home where we can get things done, you know, under, you, you, everything has to be up to code, everything is permitted, everything costs money, and this costs a lot of money. Also, I want to share, if this community would have, wouldn't have been generous, if you wouldn't have been people who would give, no one would be asking you, right? People only come to people who give, right? If you happen to be a giver, naturally someone's gonna come knock on your door and say, can you please help me? If they know you to be stingy, they're not gonna knock on your door. They're gonna move on to the next door, right? This is a very, very generous community. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate for us to be successful in our fundraising tonight. Say Ameen. Do we have our first donor, someone who's going to start us off tonight with $25,000, who believes that this happens to be their masjid, this has been a good year for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them immensely and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been very, very kind to them and they feel like this masjid has done immensely for their family, for themselves and they feel like they're in a place, in a beautiful place right now where they can make that contribution of $25,000. No, Parvez Bhai made it very clear. He told me in my ear as well before he came up. He said, there's no, no promises yet. We haven't done any pre-fundraising. So we're simply just asking for your generosity. Is there one individual or one family who's willing to say that I'm willing to make a contribution of $25,000 to my local masjid? If you do the math, it's about $2,000 a month. It is a lot of money. $25,000 is not easy to come. It's very, very difficult. But I really want you to look into your heart. Think of what this masjid has done for you. Think of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done for you. Think of the rewards with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no one would come to you unless you were a generous individual. Unless you were a generous family. We plead and we ask for your generosity tonight. Do we have someone to start us off at $25,000? One individual or one family who says, you know what, I can do this inshallah. It's a little bit of a push, it's a little bit of a stretch, but it's something that I can do. Do we have our first individual at $25,000? May Allah bless you and your family. May Allah reward you and your family. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to inspire one of us in this room to raise our hands at $25,000. Brothers, I know we all have to pray taraweeh myself included, but we need to make this happen. It's, it's very, very difficult. Anyone at $25,000? inshallah. We'll make this easy inshallah. Do we have two individuals at $15,000? Do we have our first donor tonight at $15,000? Someone, any, be careful, you scratch your nose. I almost, someone just scratched their nose. I got happy, mashallah. May, any, anyways, whoever scratched their nose, may Allah grant them tawfiq to make that $15,000 contribution soon inshallah. Say I mean. Anyone at $15,000, brothers and sisters, we have one. Takbir. Allahumma ati munfiqan khalafa. Say I mean. Do we have a second individual at $15,000? A second individual or a second family at $15,000? Oh, you want me to speak here? Uh, okay, sorry. Sorry, that's okay. That's okay. Got three microphones now. Does that mean three times the money? Okay. A second individual. A second individual to match our first contributor at $15,000. Do we have anyone at 15000 brothers and sisters? We got to have at least one person in the room, inshallah. I'm hoping that you're about to raise your hands for $10,000, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you the tawfiq inshallah to raise your hands at 15,000. Do we have an, a second individual to start us off tonight inshallah? A brother or a sister? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been very, very kind to you. And this is something that you feel that you want to do to do your part for your local community. May Allah bless you and your families inshallah. Our second donor at 15,000 will come inshallah. Brothers and sisters, there's not a single masjid in the Bay Area that facilitates five Jumu'ah prayers. There's not a single one. In fact, MCC is not just one of the largest and quickest growing masjids in the Bay Area. It's probably one of the quickest growing masjids in the entire country. 
I haven't, I haven't seen any community grow this fast. Right? It's a humongous message. It's a humongous operation. Right? Very large operation. And that's why we're really appealing to your generosity. Do we have anyone, last call at $15,000. Someone who says, you know what, I'm going to make this sacrifice. At this point, the onus is on you. Right? The onus is on every single one of us. If, if you can give $1,000, whatever you can give, please give. For the sake of your masjid, honestly, not even doing, don't think that you're doing the masjid a favor. By giving that 1000 just thank Allah that Allah has put you within a few minutes, a few miles of one of the most vibrant, most beautiful masjids in this country. And you just want to thank Allah. And you just want that this blessing remains with you and your family and your progenies for as long as they live. This is some, these are things you don't plan. These are things, right? If you would have moved to Pleasanton 15 years ago, this was not, this didn't happen. Right? These, these things, that you don't plan them. Allah, plan, Allah plans everything. Allah plants you in different places. May Allah bless us all and reward us all. Jazakumullah khair once again to all of you for your generosity. I apologize for coming between you and your Salat al Taraweeh. Please forgive me and my family. In these blessed nights, make dua for the entire Ummah. Make dua for me. Let's make, make dua for yourselves. Make dua for your families. Make dua for um, the entire community. And make dua for our reciters who lead us in Salat al Taraweeh every, every night. Especially for our elder teacher, my brother, uh, Qari Amar. May Allah bless him and reward him and his family. And may Allah grant Jannah to his parents and to his teachers who have passed away, who facilitated him for this community. May Allah bless all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Is that a hand up? MashaAllah. What is that? 52? I don't know. 52, inshallah. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi